um, where are we? Breast cancer. Core needle biopsy is the correct answer. Um, ultimate uh, diagnosis is by excisional biopsy, but screening ke liye we do core needle biopsy. Okay, comes the very important question. What is the clinical staging of this case? Who will give me the correct answer? C and D are both right. Aziz proposes. So also I thought. But let us see any other novel proposals from our online students who already lost a lot of patients in waiting for the non-transmission. Thanks for a patient um, uh, retention. That's good. Jasmeet proposes D. Somu proposes has not yet proposed anything. Yes. So there is one classification. Did you cut that page and went to Comet K? That's important. I told you now. Huh? The job of a senior is what? Guide junior, which pages are important, how to cut and put in which place, examiner will not see. Huh? Shreya Somu think it is C. You also thought C? Okay, doc. Actually, it is T4B N3C. Options were wrong. So, T4B, whenever there is ulceration on the skin of the breast or satellite lesions, it becomes T4B. Since the patient had uh, uh, typically what? Ulceration, it became uh, T4B. Then supraclavicular involvement is there of the lymph node and that basically makes it uh, become N3C where metastasis to the ipsilateral supraclavicular lymph node becomes N3C is what you need to ultimately remember. Now, a 8 year old homeless develops sudden onset of hematemesis, vomiting, retching, low HB, high MCV. What is your diagnosis? Vomiting, retching is melody base. What else it will be? Anybody thought Boyer have you? No? Huh? Sure? That's good. It is uh, melody base. Then what is the immediate, uh, what investigation you want to do? Upper GI endoscope. If you know the diagnosis, you know the investigation. I know, I know. Even our online students agree with the same. Then, on endoscopy, what do you see? Linear tear at the esophagogastric junction. So, if you know what is Rama to Sita, everything else will be correct. What will be Lakshman and everything. Any mistake anywhere can become problem. Six year old child, perianal pruritus, excoriation, nocturnal enuresis, what is the infection? And auto infection. Closing eyes without seeing options only, you will tell. Enterobius vermicularis, not a big problem and not a big challenge. So, pruritus and I, scratching, excoriation of skin, disturbed sleep, etc. Adult bombs, where do they stay? Huh? Oh, adult forms, he said. Huh? I missed that. I, I was also wrong, about to give a wrong key. Huh? Adult worms. Let me check. 148, you need to punch the question number and give answers. Our online classmates. So, you mean cecum is adult and uh, egg is uh, perianal. Is there any fish fish about it? Or adults only will be perianal? Uh, so, we should say cecum because adults was questioned. Rohit proposes A. Hari says A. Maybe I am wrong uh, about B. I didn't uh, get that adult uh, point. Uh, good. Now, uh, uh, what are the infective form? Embryonated egg. There is no second thought. That's good. So, you know that 
the gravid females migrate to the perianal area, embryonated egg form which are infective to the human being is what need to be ultimately remembered. So, what is the causative agent diagnosed with? So, if you know the other three, there is no chance of doing this wrong. NIH, swap test, that is good. Treatment, pyrantal, mebendazole and albendazole. Okay, doc. Should be an answer. Abdominal pain, icteric, liver palpable, ultrasound is showing a cyst. So, what is your answer? Very easy question. Echinococcus granulosus. If case studies are there, it is more easy. So, our classmates who are getting 99 percentile in USMLE, they are all dumb questions. Because Utna sab batane ke baad answer dena is easy job. Skeletal muscle mein what is the blood flow? 1, 2, 3, 4 is like lashes in uh, uh, slave market. So, that is more difficult. So, Echinococcus granulosus. Who is the definitive host? Not human. Nobody thought like that. Huh? That's good. I think we all studied zoology very well and came to MBBS. Huh? Dogs. That's good. So, what is the skin hypersensitivity? Kesoni. Right? This is this is skating show. Comes the little little tough question. Not very tough. The antigen used for the Kesoni is sterilized where? Huh? Uh -huh. Autoclave is an answer we are getting. From uh, Swati, right. Shweta, what do you say? Autoclave, any other answer? Auto, anybody sterilization means only autoclave. Huh? Something out of box thinking that there. Huh? Maverick proposes gamma radiation. Hari proposes autoclaving. Tirupati makes me proud for this. Sage filter. Very good. One big clap to Tirupati. So, hydrated fluid collected from the human cyst is sterilized by SIDS filtration is what need to be remembered. Okay. Ten year old girl came to physician with non tender, well circumscribed, mobile, hyperkeratotic, erythematous papules on the dorsal surface of interphalangeal joint. Do you know where the examiner picked up this? I am surprised. Ditto to ditto. It is from New England Journal of Medicine. May you have got picture tests. Straight. You know how I know that? Just uh, I took the everything and put on Google. Ah, who will know this answer? Bolke. Straight it is pointing towards NEJM. So when I have gone and checked in NEJM, are wa. Straight away, the there were all four questions picked the cases from the clinical images in NEJM. So, what are these lesions called? Garrods, because its answer is easy to guess because question is complicated but answer is easy. That's good. Huh? Garrods patch. See, this is NEJM. This is the HTML address of that. So, it was a picture test. Same dicto dicto, same wording. Healthy 10 year old girl, physician, non tenderable, some sort of mobile, everything. Pitro Ninov will be heaving in his graveyard, thinking, my, my case had been stolen and given to innocent students who had gluteal pads reading hours together in the uh, reading room about Gottram's pads. Huh? What pads are there? Gerard's pads. Okay. 